hi everyone welcome to my play series on git so in this play series we are going to learn how to work out with the git repositories so for that uh, in our last video we have seen how to install git on our windows ways so today we will be working with a few more commands of git and uh, we will get an idea of how really git works so without any just a fan just go to one do search and open your git bash so if you install your git successfully on your windows definitely you are going to see these three shells so from this uh, i am making a uh, use of git bash so if you have any knowledge on working with the uh, linux commands or ubuntu systems then definitely git bash is the thing we are going to work out with so if you have okay have okay experience with the cmd command prompt of windows then definitely go on work out with the cmd so where we will be working on or inside the terminals but when it comes to git gui where in gui we will just drag and drop everything so that is an easy step so for now we are not going to cover that i'm making use of git bash here so here in the git bash you can work out with the basic uh, linux commands and we have seen that uh, in our previous video so today what i'm going to do is uh, i'm gonna show you the topics what i'm going to cover so for that i'm not going to use any ppt kind of stuff so simply i will make use of git help so it shows us our topics list so uh, so here are the things that i'm going to cover in my playlist also so we we, we will be learning about uh, each and every command that is mentioned over here we will be learning about how to clone and we will see the example how we clone uh, git repositories and how to create root repositories and how to add reset all those stuff so i'm not going to prepare any topic list for this playlist for working out with git so whatever be the examples or the videos i'm going to make i will be doing on only these commands fine uh hope you are clear with this and if you have any doubts just go and get uh, the help by clicking give command git help fine today we will create uh, the basic uh, git root folder so when you go when you start your project initially for the first time what we have to do is we have to create a root folder think like we are going to work on a project where we had a bunch of people around the world and we are working as a team we need to work as a team for that uh, we will be having one a leader or head team head so he will be distributing us the work project work so from that uh, we will be working on that so each and every work done by a teammate should be added to a common repository or common workspace or a common directory so we call that as root directory or sometimes in git language we call as bait directory so for doing that uh, what i will do is uh, i do have a, a created a folder like git tutorials so i'm just making use of that if you you don't need to do this uh, if you want to do directly you can create your own folder so you can make use of git command sorry uh, linux commands for creating that so for that what i'm doing is i'm making use of a direct uh, make directory a linux command to create directories and i am naming out my directory name so i will call it as a root directory so in order to so when you go and create a directory like this with the name root what happens it, it will just become a directory that means a directory with some folds or uh, with some files uh, it, it doesn't become a git repository so in order to be or in order to identify a folder whether it is a directory or a git repository we have to uh, you can do that by looking at the name itself so when you are going to create a centralized git repository then we will be naming that with the director name dot git so we call that repository as our root directory so i'm just naming it as a git uh, so root dot git so when i do that it will be it just simply created 
me a new directory uh, which is which I can use that as a uh, git repository also so we, we, we can know the difference I will show you that so for now uh, I am creating one more directory with the uh, root dot two so here I am not going to create any uh, extension with the git so root two just uh, just creating you know so when I just go into this cd dot so when I change directory to so the root two you can simply see here it's just a simple file so you, you did not find any difference of navigating or going into a particular folder but if I jump, I'm just coming back and if I go into root dot git folder you can see the difference fine okay uh, until then uh, see it, it, there is no difference between the root uh, git and uh, there is a uh, root uh, 2 folder so in order to so for the center repository we just created out uh, a direct within our system or within a centralized system now we have to change the directory into a git repo or repository so for doing that we have to make use of git initialize where the command goes like this uh, git init so when you do this what it, it will identify is git will make this folder as a git repository so for now uh, from now we can make use of this git repository as a, as a centralized repository and we can uh, give it out to our teammates so they can add the codes to it they can take the codes from it and they can work out with their tasks so when I make use of git initialize so you can see the command it said that okay fine initialize an empty git repository so when when you are going to create a root directory for the first time there you are going to distribute that root directory to your team so that root directory will be an empty directory so when you are going to give a project works to your team means you are going to give a plan to them so they are the persons who will be working out and writing out the codes and they will add the code to our centralized or root directory or the main project directory so for the first time uh, when your team heads or when your team head gives you the work it will just have an empty directory it will not have any files moreover if it has any files means the file will be like a readme file in it so once i initialize this git so you can see here my repository converted into a git repo so master is nothing but the default uh, daemon that runs within this folder we it identifies my git repository as the master repository so with this we can clearly know that uh, we have successfully created the root directory for our project think like you are we are working on a project and uh, you are as a team head everyone has created a good initializing directory where all your teammates can work out with their course and can add all the course to this particular root directory so for now uh, we are not going to work out with this uh, root directory while adding course all those stuff for that we will make use of one more git command and we will create a test a folder a test folder or a branch we can call it that as a branch also in, in we will be looking at that in our upcoming videos for for now we just uh, end this session or end this video with uh, creating a root directory Hope uh, it gives you an idea and thanks for watching. Have a good day.